Highlands. It is another scorching beautiful day. I think the weather's to stay pretty clear. I'll show you this blue skies in just a second. We are heading to Bush Gardens today, down Tampa. We're going to grab a drive through maybe a Dunkin' Donuts or something quick for breakfast and then get our backsides on the I-4 and head on down to Tampa. Yep. So let's do it. Let's go. Look at that Florida blue sky, guys. It's already in the high 20s, Celsius. I think the, the forecast is for around 33, 34, and the rain percentage on our app is at 3 and 4% chance of rain, so we're optimistic it's going to stay dry all day. So we're going into Duncan. The guys are going to get caffeinated up with some coffee. I don't do hot drinks, guys, so I'll just get something, maybe something sweet and we'll see what we can get a donut or two for breakfast. So guys, who knew you could have ice cream for breakfast? But you can. All the different fillings for the shakes. We've got a box of donuts, we've got a couple of croissants and bagels. Just have a little look at the receipt, guys. We went for a glazed vanilla frosting, two chocolate frosting sprinkles, and the other two are chocolate iced with Boston cream inside and I went for the dragon fruit refresher we'll let you know how that is Heather went for a milkshake with hold the whipped cream and we got a soda just in case we don't like the refresher dragon fruit refresher iced tea guys was really tasty we've all had a little taste and we all think it's a thumbs up Liam is this loving is the the caramel cappuccino yep uh, it's a cold drink mixed with ice and it's also amazing guys well, she just went for a regular latte. She's enjoying that too. William went for the sausage bacon. Sorry, the sausage egg and cheese bagel. Yep, a sausage egg and cheese bagel. And we've all went for a sauce, uh, bacon egg and cheese croissant. And there's a little look at the croissant with the bacon egg and cheese. The croissants and bagels were massive. We took the lids off of most of them and just at the bottom half of the filling it was pretty nice. The um, donut, as the Boston cream one here, is definitely a thumbs up. That is really tasty. We've got some crashes in the I-4, guys, so we're a little bit behind the schedule, but we're just taking in the views while we're waiting the traffic in front clearing. Guys, it's been a very long road trip, but we finally made it. There was about three or four crashes on the I-4. It just took us three hours to get here. It's now 1 p.m. almost. But we're going to get parked and head on in. Now he's walking in. That's one, two here. Cobra's across is here. I'm not entirely sure exactly which one that is up there. Maybe Kumba. But we're going to wander on in, and the park looks pretty empty, which is handy since we're here a little bit later. It's only five, ten, and fifteen minute waits. So. The girls are going to get lots of the rides done, me and Liam are really looking forward to the safari train, so yeah. Well, let's go on and see how much we can get done before the park closes. We're getting our first look at Ion Guazi there, guys, next to what I think is Cheetah Hunt. You know the drill by now, walk through, get your bag checked, get in and scan the tickets and head on in. So these ones are closed today, guys. We all did Tigris last time we were here in Falcons Fury. Heather done it, and so we won't be doing those today. It's nice and quiet, guys. We walked straight through, as expected, I suppose, at 1 pm. But the park times, as I say, are very low, so it's looking pretty quiet. Yep, and this is just a little shop and podiums there on your right. Guest relations are on your left as you enter the park. Just to give you a little look at the entrance and exit here, we are. They've got the different zones and all the different rides that's quite a lot to get through we won't have to cherry pick given the i4 blockage so we'll not have quite as much time here as we'd hoped for but we'll get a lot done we'll do everything that we hope to do hopefully and just to let you know guys they do do the turkey leg here it's 14.99 they've also got dipping dots i'm sure heather will spot that if not on the way in then on the way out and they do do refreshing drinks including some beers if anyone's interested as you probably guessed as it's um Owned by SeaWorld, they do the Howl of Scream events here too. There's not one today, thankfully, so we won't be having to be pushed out before closing time. But I think park closing is only around 6pm, so we'll have a little bit of time and see what we can get done. 
refillable cups are $20 each, but me and Liam are both going to get one and we're going to get the two of them, so you get two for... Yeah. So, if we buy two of them, they are $17.99 each. To let you know what they've got, we can get the Icy Minute Maid Lemonades, they've got Blue Raspberry and Wild Cherry, and you've also got your Coca-Cola freestyle machines with all the Fanta's and Powerade etc. If you pay, the lady will give you a lid and the big reusable straw that comes with it. And Heather's going to go and fill it up because we're all thirsty after a three hour car journey. Came in and just as you walk through the entrance we're going to head right towards Cheetah Hunt. We're in looking at the crocodiles. Having a little chill out. There's turtles in there too. A little fountain court. And we're going to head over to Cheetah Hunt. There's the cheetah, opposite Cheetah Hunt, just having a little relaxing time in the shade over there in the trees, guys. The trainer does do a little show where she goes in there and walks about and there's a kind of play thing where there's a, I think it's a rabbit on a track and the cheetah chases it and catches it and gets a treat. It is a show at 2pm guys, but we may not get a chance to look at that. We're going to push on and try and get the rides done. Um, we did Cheetah Hunt first because it, yeah, it was, was the first thing we came to. The wait lines are really, really low. Yeah, it was literally a walk on. There was a queue for the front row because you can queue for front row. Yeah. I forgot it was upside down. There isn't a lot of wriggle, wriggle room in the restraint guys, so if you're a bigger chap like myself, I just fit on, Liam didn't quite get on, and it wasn't a lot of wriggle room guys, and it was pretty tight, so I'll do it once if it's still a walk on and we have time, the girls might want to do it again, because the ride itself is awesome. The girls have gone on Cobra's Curse, I gave it a hard pass, I do fit, but don't like the ride, it swivels you round side to side, um, it's a similar restraint to Mako. It's nowhere near as intense as me, I did do it before, it wasn't terrible, I just didn't particularly enjoy it. So I've given that a pass, me and Liam are going to have a little look around, fill up the juice cups again, and yeah, and then the girls will take in Montu, which is just through there, we'll show you a little bit of that in a second. You can buy churros here guys, and pretzels, this is at the Serpent stand next to Cobra's Curse. The freestyle machines are here too. You can also buy popcorn, the machine's a little empty just now to be fair, but you can buy popcorn. Well okay, guys, just a little, little view of the ride, it takes you up to the very top, you come face to face with the Cobra, and then you come round and down. The girls are actually already on it, so I'm assuming it's a similar situation as Cheetah Hunt. I hope all the rides are like this today guys, because if it is, we're going to have a really good day, despite the long drive down. some of the merch guys in here. They do do waterproof bags and we do have a cool bag but we've just opted not to use it today because we decided to bring the, buy the cups and fill them up. We've got slightly different cups in here, different designs, same idea, same concept, the refillables. We've got the water fans in here too. The Florida staple and all the theme parks. It's a neat little mug if you're into that. Something that I would enjoy maybe having soup or something in. So guys, we've barely got a chance to fill the cups up and pop over to the store and the girls are already off. How was that? Good. Brilliant. Excellent. Yeah, we guessed that because we had a little look we watched she's going up the, the elevator. At least she's just having a little look at some of the teas. Nice bright colours. How much is that one, darling? Twenty-five dollars. How much is this the hooded sweatshirt? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. And we're just talking to the women in the store, so these are little um, nine for real gems it says and there used to be just outside the door here if you can see where that blue path is just over here that used to be a tower where you could put the sand in and the gems would flow down to the bottom and you collect them at the bottom but the ladies just told us that they closed it during covid and lots of people were sitting on it and it wasn't safe so they've just taken it away guys a little look at montu going past you can see it in the distance there this is my favorite ride Yep, the girls like to tell me how good it is. 
knowing that I don't fit on it. <laughs> no, I'm not jealous at all, honest. <laughs> to give you an idea, guys, you come out there, you ascend the climbing inverted coaster, you go around a big loop here, you come right under, underground. Here's a little note that they give you next to the test seat to let you know if you have got broad shoulders or a wide chest you might not fit. That is the testing seat there, just to give you an idea about the, the chair leg. of Montu, it's also a little arcade area. You buy tokens and you can play the games. We've got a few different games for the kids to play. It's pretty good. Yeah, there's quite a lot guys. As I say the park's really quiet today so if we wanted to we could be in here and pick from any game we liked really. Trying, this is my not jealous face. <laughs> so just taking in some of those safari views is absolutely stunning here. That tower you see there's Falcon's Fury. Who, as we said before, that one's closed today. The screams in the background are from Cobra's Gus as we wander along. Just having a little walk along, seeing some of the animals as we go past Cobra's Gus. Look at those views, guys. You can see the giraffe having a little munch and a nibble. We'll get the pelicans up close and personal. It's actually 2.05 guys, we've filled the cups up a couple of times. We've done three rides. Honestly guys, if you've not done this place and you like the Kilimanjaro Safari, then this is just a lovely place to have a look around. Look at this for views guys. It is fantastic. The grass right there, having a little nibble on the tree. Not to mention that in terms of thrill rides guys, this is possibly the most packed park for a single park with thrill rides. We'll have a little walk around and see what we can ice by. If you just look over on the far side guys, the lemur is just running along the wall and that lady over there in the blue is feeding the hippopotamuses. Not very often we get to catch a sight of the hippopotamus out of the water, especially on a hot day like this. But here we go. He is literally being hand fed by the trainer. He's not happy once more. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hack was being fed, but the Lima is keen to get his share. Could you give me a stare? So guys, I just watched the trainer feed the hippo a full banana and he's eating it like it was a raisin. <laughs> He's just lying at the back, there's the, the crocodile. He's right lying up at the back there with his head towards the top. He's not quite poking out so we can't see him from up top. Not at the moment anyway. There he is guys, the king of the jungle. Trying to get some shade. Not sure if you can see guys, but in the centre of the picture, that is the female, the lioness. There's the lioness guys, poking her head up. The lines are all quite far back guys, it's pretty hot today. I oh, just came inside the cave guys, the air conditioning's awesome in here. And the lioness is right there, lion sleeping. I think we learned on the safari at Disney yesterday that lions sleep up to 20 hours of the day. And these little guys are having a little wander around, I think, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it's N-Y-L-A. Well, it's called Anila or Anila. 
And these little fellas over here are called Thompson Gazelles, as you see Cheetah Hunt just flashing past in the background. Some interesting options guys for the Howl of Scream Treats, limited time off at 8.99 for some fried Oreos, if that's something that would float your boat. Some more of the theming for the Howl of Scream guys as we walk through the park. It's a big sort of hearst. It's beautiful animals guys, the elephants, the big chap over there is having a little drink. Cooling off in the Florida heat. Just to the left of the elephants we've got the animal care centre where depending on what they're doing at the time you may be able to watch some of the animals getting their checkups, getting weighed etc, getting their teeth checked. We did see the cheetah once. So guys, okay, here's a little look as you can see through the glass at the veterinarian centre where they work with all the different animals. There's a little seating area here to the left. There's another side to it as well guys. As I said we were lucky once to see the cheetah getting its teeth checked I think once. It was sleeping on the desk. Black guys just summing up what they do here. This is the, the giraffe skeletal neck structure just beside it there. And this is the last piece of the veterinarian centre that you can view. We're going to head on out guys the opposite way, taking the AC and the way back through the building again and move on to the next part. That's us back out into the Florida heat guys, having one little last look at the elephants and all their glory. I was a little bit disappointed that Falcon Fury's closed. <laughs> I'm not concerned for myself because I wouldn't be going on it anyway. So we just popped into Dragonfire guys and had our juice cups filled over there. And we're going to have a little pit stop for a couple of minutes and then I think Heather's keen to get on Scorpion which is right outside here. Dragonfire they do sell some food we've never eaten here before. So I'm just having a little look round. Chicken burgers. Asian walk. So we'll have a little look round and see if there's anything we can see. They do sell the free refills in here guys, you can fill your drinks and stuff up. So the guys, they do some pepperoni or cheese pizza. They do fried mozzarella sticks and fresh fruit as well as a cheesecake. Chicken tenders, they do waffles, a crispy sandwich, kids chicken nugget meals, seasoned waffle fries. The walk is, you've got the pick two combo or pick one and it's teriyaki chicken or vegetable stir fry, beef and broccoli. We do have egg rolls too. A bacon burger, a speciality burger. But yep, there's plenty to choose from. Traditional sort of everyday theme park food as you would expect. And you can pay for the all day dining plan here, the same as we did have that option at SeaWorld. So guys, I'm guessing with how the little the food is laid out, that they expected the park to be this quiet. And that's maybe why the vast is not to use the drinks machines on the left there. And come over here to the right hand side. And they do have the ICs in here too, which Heather might grab one of those when she comes off of Scorpion. She's already out there So right now. Heather just jumped on Scorpion. She did it twice. Yeah, to said it was a 15 minute wait, but walk on. Yeah. So we're going to head back out into the park, guys. And I think Heather wants to do She Crew, so we'll check that one out. Me and Alicia did that last time we were here. That's it, ticked off the list. It was good, but nah, it's, I'm good. I'm, I'll wait and watch Heather go on. I was going to try and get you some footage of Scorpion guys but we've been waiting for a couple of minutes and it's so quiet that the coaster's not even been round yet. Cooling off and the mist spray here it is a perfect day for it. It's actually 34 Celsius right now guys and there is not a cloud in the sky. different games to choose from. There's another arcade over there too guys. Liam's eyeing up. Tub tags. Some Super Mario and Yoshi and Toad. Signs are all about the park, guys, to keep you right. We're going to head over this way towards Tigris, Jungala, Shikra, Kumba, and the Congo River Rapids, where we might get wet. Whoever's done this one, guys, has took a bit of time. It is beautiful. River Rapids, we'll come back and do it. And there is also a Chick-fil-A inside the park, just to let you guys Supper know. Punch. We smelt it and we went in for some food. 
All we got was two nuggets and a hot chicken sandwich with one large fries because we've already got the drinks and we were $37. Liam got a hot chicken sandwich with some fries and a shake and he was $27. So it is definitely inflated prices guys, just be careful. So there's the trail there that you can have a little walk around, the treetop trail. And we're going to head on down. Alicia and me and Liam are just walking about. Heather's already ran ahead to get on Shikra. She'll probably go on it at least once, maybe twice. Some more of the Howler Scream decoration and stuff all about us. So September 9th through October 31st. So the lions were lying down and the tigers doing the exact same, taking in some shade. So the Stanley Falls log flume is right here guys. Heather's on Shikra as we see it climbing up to the top. It brings you right to the edge guys, hangs you over just long enough for you to wonder why you're here. <laughs> and then, off you go. And I probably think that might even be Heather we can hear from here to be honest. But it won't stop her going on again, straight up back upside down. That first bit's the worst bit. Once it's over, the adrenaline's in the body, and it is awesome. Well, three times. three times in the space it took us to finish off having our milkshake and stuff. Just to give you an idea, guys, of what the drop's like from the top. It is inwards of 90 degrees. <laughs> A splash zone, so bear that in mind if you're walking by it with a camera out. <laughs> Lots of these little guys around the park and little geckos hiding in the shaded areas. There have been so many of them running around. You actually need to watch where you're putting your feet when you're walking around. Yeah, there's in the splash zone again. Before we move on, she's determined to get absolutely soaked. I hope that gentleman's phone is waterproof. No idea this is We're about to find out if his phone's waterproof. <laughs> I hope so. Guys, they have actually opened Tigris, and Taylor's going to jump on right now. Look at the Tigris seat. Alicia's just sat in the test seat to show us what it looks like, guys. So that is actually just a comfort harness. Those will stay loose during your ride. You go upside down, and then it's just the the lap bar, which is why I'm not really comfortable on it. If it was a proper old-fashioned seat, I would maybe enjoy it a bit more. But when you get up to the top there, it's an inversion at a slow slow inversion, so you feel like you're falling out, which is part of the thrill, but it's, it's not for me. Well, guys, if you look up top, chilling out in a little treetop bars, I'm not even sure what you would call those. There's two orangutans, one on each side, just hanging out. Just heading across the bridge towards Kango, Congo River Rapids and we are going to hopefully get on Kumba too, which is my favourite coaster here. The River Rapids is closed, the guy said he had a blockage of some sort. But Kumba's on the go, you can see it just through the trees there, it is ferocious and we love it so we're going to go and jump in line for that. didn't even have to go off they just said did anybody want to ride again and the girls have both stayed on I came off and um, once was enough and it was absolutely fantastic anybody who likes Hulk you'll love this it's awesome the water's not been filled up it looks as if anything it's getting less so it is 5 p.m. there's an hour left the only thing we've not do I saved the best for the last me and Liam absolutely love and so does Alicia and Heather to be fair the train ride around the park hopefully we'll see a bit of the animals so just to, as I say it's it's 5 p.m. we've been here for about four hours and we have done pretty much every ride that's been open 
that's wanted to, that we wanted to do. Yep, anything we've wanted to do, we've done. It's been so quiet. And even a couple of times, to be fair. Yep, Heather's been on Scorpion twice, Shikra three times. <laughs> the girls have been on Kumba twice, I did it once. Yep, there's, we've done everything we wanted and more, guys. So just to give, as I say, it's Thursday today. Just to give you an idea, it's a Thursday afternoon. And it isn't really that busy. And it is Everything's really quiet. Been Everything's been a walk on. There's a little 2022 Bush Gardens long sleeve t shirt. Is it, is it dry fit material? And it is $42.99, guys. So our wonderful station master, Brian. Bye, Brian. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Just see in Glasgow there guys, we're at the second stop on the train route. We're going to stay on and take a, a lap round until we get on the last leg of it, which is the safari run. You go to your right, maybe we'll see that big old wooden structure there. That is known as the fence. But if you look past the fence, you might be able to see Iron Gwazi. Iron Gwazi is the tallest hybrid coaster in North America and will take you and drive you as smooth. Nice, easy. 91 degrees, which is more than straight down. And in case you were wondering, her horns are hollow. If you look to your left, you might be able to see the black rhino. Black rhinos are solitary creatures, meaning that they like to be by themselves, hence why they can throw them to the island. And they are smaller than white rhinos. Black rhinos only weigh about 3,000 pounds. Also, from the left hand side, you can see the reticulated giraffe. The reticulated yeah. giraffe can stand up to 19 feet tall and do everything standing up. The little things we've seen earlier were actually Nyala antelope and they're just down in the ditch there. I'm not sure if you can catch any of it at all. As we depart the station, we put a hand in the air wave goodbye to our wonderful station masters, Kaiser and Alma. Yellow roller coaster on our right hand side is Montu. Montu is named after the Egyptian god of war, who's fished as a man with a falcon's head. Montu will take you through seven inversions, meaning that you'll be upside down seven whole times. Welcome to Dress Time in the Serengeti Belt. hand side on top of the hill there. Those small tan animals are the Impala. I believe they're made by Chevrolet and that's why they can only run up to 55 miles per hour. They flip are one of the most endangered species of antelope. There are only about 30 left in the wild. Wildebeest are also known as the wildebeest and they are part of the Great Migration by the which I've only heard of up to one million. Also on the right on top of the hill by the fence there, we have the Greater Kudu. Greater Kudu will stand in a satchel-like pose for up to two hours to camouflage with their environment and hide from predators. So guys, that's us saying goodbye to the Serengeti. So we're heading back into the next train station. The girls are going to go and die on Gwazi. And then we're almost done for the day. It's awesome. 
Big thank you to the train driver for all of the information. Thanks a lot. These are African penguins, guys. They like the warm water. That was a long, long walk to find Ayangwazi. I think the one shortcut through the park to get to it. They've closed for a Howler Stream set up and it's got walls up we can't get through and we've had to walk all the way towards the park exit and it's been an absolute power walk but the girls hopefully will make it. It is 17.56, they've just went on so hopefully they get on it. There's a little photo opportunity wall in here guys, the girls have obviously ran on so we'll not get time for that. It is only a five minute wait and they were asking you to pay extra for a one time quick queue for that ride so that gives you an idea of how busy it can get. Heather did not let us down and went for a dip in dots. No cookies and cream left. How is the cookie dough? Good? Yeah, and that's us done guys. So we are going to head on out. Yeah. Back to the car and head on back up the I-4. Hopefully it won't take us three hours to get home. I think that was fair to say a successful day at Bush Gardens despite being a little late arriving. It was a fantastic day. So guys, we made a quick pit stop. We're going to try and have a little look around the character warehouse again as it was super busy when we were here the other day. There might not be anything extra to show, but we're going to have a quick look, seeing as it was just about quarter past eight. We've got 45 minutes before it closes. We were driving past anyway, so why not? They have some Haunted Mansion t-shirts. They're 11, 13, 13.99. This one is 20.99. Kids Haunted Mansion shirt. It's twenty ninety nine. It's almost like an ugly Christmas jumper. That's down to twenty five dollars. Stormtrooper. Very nice. And Haunted Mansion jogging bottoms. They are also twenty ninety nine. Some nice t-shirts here. Nine ninety nine. Like this one. It's twelve ninety nine. This one's nine ninety nine. Yes. Heather found spirit jersey, pretzel spirit jersey. Turn it round, Heather. And it's scented. Scented, yeah. How much is it? Thirty nine. And this little. Pop figure style plush is $8.99. They have a range of cups as well, which are $6.99, I think most of them are. I like this one. $6.99. How much we're allowed to be on a field or not? These ones are a bit bigger and they're 7 99 I think these ones actually have lids on them. And they also have some lounge flies, um, so they are reduced to... This one here is $38. Lounge fly purse, which is $25.99. Found the price, Alicia. It's $42.99 this one. $42.99. Marvel lounge fly which is forty five ninety nine. Yeah it looks a similar size to the fiftieth anniversary one which is quite yep. quite a large one isn't it? Star Wars Spirit Jersey which is down turn it round. $25, which is down to twenty-five dollars. Okay, let's find some pins. So how much are they here though? This one's four net nine. Okay. Um this one's seven at nine, but the other ones they had only one. Was that in the parks? No, over there. It was seven at nine, but you get two for seven at nine. Okay. So. A little Avengers bumbag or fanny pack, depending on what side of the Atlantic you're on. Is Stephen is modelling a bottle holder. Water bottle holder. And <laughs> it is five ninety nine. They're handy for walking about the park, so they seem to be a bit insulated as well, so they'll keep yeah, it looks like you're a just a cool cold. <laughs> so we've just found ears. We actually seen these in the park the other day and they were still full price and they're in here for eight ninety nine. They also have these ones. 
which are 15 99 going to be railway many, I think. And also these ones as well, and they are 15 99 they also have um, the Pride Walt Disney World bags and store. They are twenty nine ninety nine. They have a collection of belts and store as well. These are actually they're, they're very different. They are down to twelve ninety nine. I've actually never seen these in the parks before. They're quite cool. Which is gone for the cup. Heather's going to get those ears and a couple of pins. So guys, that was thirty one dollars. Yeah, I think we've just come in last thing and it was handy for the being quiet, but a lot of the sizes were gone in the clothes. But we've got a pair of ears, three pins, yeah. and a nice mug for thirty dollars. Yeah. In the parks you could pay thirty dollars for the ears, so that was good. So guys, a little look at Vineland and there's a site that we don't see often over here, a roundabout. Just across the road from the hotel on the way back we thought we'd pop into Walgreens, maybe grab some more water, a couple more sodas. We've got some beach towels for kind of Disney theme for the kids, there's a Gryffindor one too. Get sun hats, they've got everything in here guys, it's really handy if you forget any sunscreen, if you need any toiletries. So guys, Alicia's picked up a little t-shirt, it was only 6 99 Or 2 for 12. 2 for 12, yeah, <laughs> if you for some different ones. She just fancied a little Florida keepsake to take home. She's eyeing up the Harry Potter t-shirt that says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. There's plenty to choose from down here. Chips Ahoy and Oreos, we might get a few more of those because we've worked our way through them. <laughs> some goldfish, cheese its It's pretty much like a little mini Walmart, guys. Got some alcoholic drinks and stuff too. You can get some Funyuns, some Twisted Ruffles. They've got loads of sweets and stuff to choose from, guys, as well. I think we're all good for sweets, mostly. Although, I think Alicia might grab some of those hard candies because we've been buying little packets of them. They've also got a reasonably good selection of the chocolates that we've seen at Disney Springs, guys, in here. If anyone's interested, the bars are two for six dollars. And we picked a couple of those up, we've not actually tried them yet. So guys, all of the, the Walmart that seem to have really big bags of crisps, but they seem to have a slightly smaller snake snack size bags in here. And they've also got some cold drinks in the fridge if you're looking for something to grab and go. Alicia spotted that the Weathers original popcorn is two for six dollars. In the parks they were six dollars each. So I think we're gonna grab a couple of those guys to take home because they look awesome. So just dropping the stuff off in the room before we go for a drink and that's the top that Alicia's just bought for a little Florida keepsake, just a, a cheap yeah. t-shirt to wear in around the house. And this was the one I bought just before I came to Florida. <laughs> she got that one on Sheen <laughs> that she's used for kind of lounging about in the room and stuff. So, yeah. So guys, that's us back at the hotel. It's been a long day, but a good day. Bush Gardens was brilliant as always. Um, yep. Heather had this march and then she'd done yep. all the rides she wanted to do most of them multiple times. It was a long day in the car, but... We made up for it with yeah. the short wait times, it meant we got everything we needed to get done and wanted to get done done. Yep. Yep. Iron Glazy at the last kick. It was good. It was really, really fast. Yep. Um, the glad girls we managed to just, get on it. Yep. Just squeezed that in at the end. Yeah. It was probably a <laughs> rush. Um, but yeah, we've had a good day, stopped a little bit of outlets, had a little quick look around the character thing, warehouse. Yeah. And yeah, we're just going to go and have a couple of drinks, guys. So we're just saying goodbye here. We hope you've enjoyed today as much as we have. If you have, give us a little like, subscribe, catch the rest of the vlog series if you can. And we'll hopefully see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.